people. Battlefield 3 review, multiplayer review. I'm only going to review the team deathmatch because, quite frankly, I don't play Russ. Don't even know what Russ is and don't care about Russ or Conquest. What do I look like, a Highlander serious creature? I don't know nothing about that shit. Look, when I play death, I just want to play multiplayer deathmatch, and guess what I played? 12 on 12. I heard, oh, it's nothing but action, this and that. Goddamn, every time you turn around, you're getting shot when you get spawned. Everyone's hiding in the corner somewhere. The maps are 900 miles long, so you got one set of team on this side, the other set of team on this side, and it's like, you move, you get killed. The team deathmatch on this game is horrible. It's horrible. You can't move. I don't know what type of people play Battlefield, but they sure in the hell ain't people like me. I go out there and I run and gun. In this game here, once you make a subtle move in this game, you're dead. You're dead. You, I got spawned. I spawned one time and got killed like six straight times within two seconds of spawning. It was ridiculous. What the hell's wrong with these spawns? I get spawned, two seconds later I turn around to fight, boom, I'm dead. The maps are fucking too goddamn big. I mean, you got one... Your teammates are all over here, the other team's over there. You got people camping all over the place, and at this juncture, I can't even say I blame them, because once you move, you get shot. So, I don't know who plays it. I don't play, first of all, I don't play campaigns either. Might have a great campaign. I don't know. I really don't care, because I don't play campaign. Didn't play campaign at Call of Duty either. Don't do it. But, what I bought the game for was, a t I heard this, oh, this big action pack, 12 on 12 deathmatch, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be true gun on gun. No, what it's called is hide on hide, you're done. Whoever hides the longest, whoever got the most careless person in the world like me, go out there and they spawn and they get killed because I'm not going to sit there in the corner like a little bitch. I'm going to come out there and fight. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight. Now, I see these people saying, it's like a real war. It's like a real war. Bullshit. God damn it. Ain't nothing like a real war. Now, I will say the gun sounds in this game are incredible. I will say that. But I didn't buy the game so I could hear gun sounds. I bought the game so I could see these little soldiers, computer the enemy soldiers running around, running around after me, and I shoot them. But it doesn't happen in this game. It's too slow paced. No one moves. And I heard all these people say, Ah, oh, it's a seven, eight minute day team deathmatch. Where do you find these seven, eight minute team deathmatches at? What, did you get a bunch of Call of Duty players in the lobby? Is that what you're playing with? Because these battlefield players that I'm playing with are 12, 15 minute long team deathmatches. And I'm tired of them. I'm not playing it no more. Yeah, it's just, it's, you can't move. If, look, if I spawned right now on Battlefield, I'd go to move, I'd be dead. It's that ridiculous. Now, like I said, I don't know who the hell claims to have eight-minute death matches. You show me they must be Call of Duty players playing the game. Because Battlefield players I was in a lot with last night, you spawn, you die. And I look, I've studied, I wish they had a, a theater mode. Because I like to go through the map and show everybody. My team was here, their team was over there. These maps are so goddamn outrageously big. I mean, it's ridiculous. The 12-on-12 12 12 team deathmatch, maybe it wasn't such a good idea for you. Now, I was thinking about giving some solutions, some answers to fix this, but you know what? I don't even care because I don't even like the game. I have no desire to play. I thought it was going to be action-packed. It's camping-packed. It's camping-packed. So, I don't even care. Will I play it again and get some commentaries? Maybe. Possibly. Possibly. But I doubt it. It's just boring. I can honestly say, without a doubt, it is the boringest game that I've ever played. Homefront. I gotta be honest with you, I hated Homefront. But I'd rather play Homefront a hundred times more than this game. This game is goddamn, no one moves. No one moves. And then, the gun they gave me, the AK-74U was great. I loved it. Whatever it was, A7, I don't know what it was. But anyway, I loved it. Then I went to use it again. It wasn't on my goddamn thing. I was like, what the fuck? So anyway, my review of the Team Deathmatch. Now, like I said, I don't play Conquest. I can care less about Conquest. I don't even know what it is. Don't care. Don't want to play. Rush. Don't care. Don't want to play. I don't want to play Team Deathmatch. In my review of the Team Deathmatch, it's horrible. It's garbage. Everyone camps. No one moves. So, this is my review. Uh, it's obviously that these players that play Battlefield cannot handle the strategic chaos that is involved in playing the Call of Duty game. Because, see, if you watch my gameplay in Call of Duty, you seen my gameplay the other day in Battlefield. What did I do? I sat there on the rooftop, got like five or six kills in a row, and as soon as I started to move, I tried getting to one part of the map. Boom! Dead! Boom! Dead! Boom! Dead! Boom! Dead! Boom! I was shot every time I moved to a different vicinity of the map. You can't move. And that, my friends, is not fun. If you can't get from here to there without getting killed, it's not fun. And the lighting in this game, it's too bright. It's too bright. And I gotta be honest with you. I installed the HD texture pack and all that, this and that. Yes, I did it because I envisioned on keeping this game. I really did. I really did. 
And guess what? I got to be honest with you. The graphics are no better than Homefront. No better at all. Now, it's disappointing because I heard so much hype about this game. And I was like, Call of Duty 4 graphics are on level with this. So I'm sorry. I'm not impressed one bit. Now, if you like the game, that's fine. I have nothing against you. I wouldn't want you on my team if we played Call of Duty. I'll say that. But I have nothing against you. That's fine. You like the game. I'm happy for you. Me, I don't like the game. And that's not an opinion. That's a fact opinion. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not going to force myself to play a game where if I spawn, two seconds later I'm dead. Where if I try to move from here to there, I get shot in the back by some guy laying under a fucking goddamn rocket ship or whatever that is, a train track. Or some guy cowering in the corner when I go into a room, he's in the corner there. And believe me, believe me, I've met many a campers in this game last night that would hide in doorways and wait for you to come by. Now, the darkness in the game, too. When you go into a dark room, you might as well just say it's all black. You can't see nothing. I know people are going to say, well, you got a flashlight gun. Uh, 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 no, no. I don't want a flashlight gun. I want a gun, and I want to shoot somebody coming out. I want someone to come out here and oppose me man on man so I can shoot them. I don't want to be looking around the map moving. And, what, you know what? I can beat this to death. But the 12-on-12 12 12 team deathmatch is what most of the Call of Duty players are going to play it for. And guess what? It is no good. No one moves. And I have yet to see one gameplay of a 12-on-12 12 12 team deathmatch that goes under 15 minutes long. Or under 12 minutes long. And it is action-packed. There's no action to it. Everyone hides. It's like these people that play the game actually sit on the phone at night or on Skype, whatever. I don't know what these nerds do. They sit there and say, oh, I was over here camping in this room. You're not in a real war. It's a video game. If you want a real war simulation, go join the fucking United States Marine troops or the Israeli troops, whatever troops you live in, whatever. That's a real war. This is a video game. It's supposed to be fun. I run around, and if you kill me, guess what? I know I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Of course, I should rest my voice, but you know what? I don't have to rest my voice. Because I'm a beast. I'm a beast. I don't care. I lose my voice. It happens to me every time this year. If you remember last year at this time, I was doing the Halo, the Halo things, I lost my voice too. A little bit earlier than this. But you know what? I don't care. It'll come back. The bottom line is, I will never, I might play it again, but I don't have time to put a 20-minute upload up on a game that's boring. Infinity Ward, please release Modern Warfare 3 early, please. I beg you. 11, 8, 11, 8, 11. Can't get here quick enough, sir. It can't. Because I'm waiting for it. In the meantime, I'll continue to play Call of Duty, War to War, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, whatever. I'll continue to. Believe me, I love them games. I can run around, get killed, and have fun. This isn't fun for me at this juncture. Not at all. So that's my review on the 12 on 12 team deathmatch. Like I said, don't care about conquest, don't care about rush, don't care about the campaign. It may be a great campaign. I don't play campaigns. Never did, never will. So there it is. Honest review. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing and tell you it's not bad. It's not, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to tell you from my experience, and that is probably about, I played for three hours last, maybe about two hours last night. And it's, you can't move. It's like I'm sitting in a chair handcuffed. You move, you're dead. No, take it out and do something with that. I want to make sure it didn't corrupt my disc tray. Because I've read online somewhere it can corrupt the disc tray. 